Hello and well, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we've been doing our December releases. Let's get going. The weirdest thing about releases is they always come in a weird place. <laughs> like we have so many thrillers in summer and they're just so weird. I don't know why there's so many thrillers in summer. Like I was thinking about summer happy and bright, joyful, relaxing and then we have thrillers. <laughs> I just find it so odd. So, yeah, but we do have some thrillers for the winter because I think that makes more sense because it's spooky and, well, you know, the thrillers. And so, they're rather thrilling, if you will. <laughs> so, let's get going. So, my first book is Barry Road by Katie Tallow. When the love of her life disappeared on a camping trip, Gus Monette was devastated. Her daughter was only nine at the time, but young Blake was still remembers the heartbreak vividly. Howard had been like a father to her. He was a journalist working on a story that took a dark and dangerous turn. The last time they saw him, he was going to meet a source he believed he could blow the story wide open. Three years later, shocked to see Howard's obituary in the paper, Gus and Blake are drawn back to Prince Edward County where he was last seen when the camper Howard was driving has been found. Sneaking into the camp, her mother and daughter find out what investigators missed. Hidden beneath, hidden behind a secret panel of Howard's notebook, cell phone, and a video message recorded the night before he vanished. Evidence that nights the evidence that turns a cold case red hot. Searching for answers, Gus and Billy arrived to follow the story Howard was pursuing and to expose whoever what went to deadly lengths to stop him from revealing the truth. It comes out on December 3rd. You know what's coming up? I have talked about this multiple times. I will not shut up about it. I actually put out a really special ambition about this book. I like to have you know, special editions here and there. I don't really get why people have to buy the same copy that keeps having special editions. That's so dumb, but obviously you do you. <laughs> but I don't know. It just seems kind of pointless to have the same copies, but in different forms. Whatever. But anyways, this is Heavenly Titan by ZNJ Shao. I will not shut up, shut up about her. <laughs> After suffering devastating a loss and making drastic decisions, Zenten finds herself at the seat of power in Huaji. But she also learned that her world is not as it seems, and revelations about an enemy more daunting than Zenten imagine forces her to share power with a dangerous man she cannot simply depose. Despite having vastly different ideas about how they must construct the corrupt and misogynist system that plagues their country, Zintan must join this man in a dance of truth and lies and perform the roles to perfection in order to take down a common enemy who seeks to control them as puppets while dealing one of Zintan's loved ones as hostages. That was out on December 24th. My next book is What the Word Stuff by Courtney Gold. Devin Green wakes in the middle of the night to find two men in her bedroom. No stranger to fight, she calls to her foster parents for help, but soon becomes clear this is a planned abduction. Everyone but Devin signed up for. She showed up in a van and driven deep into the Idaho woods, where she dropped off on the cohort of equally confused teens. Finally, two camp counselors informed them they have been all enrolled in an experimental therapy program. If the campers can learn to change the self-destructive frames and survive a 50 days hack through the wilderness, they will come up the other side as better versions of themselves. Or so the counselors say. Devin is immediately determined to escape. She is also determined to ignore Sheridan, the cruel amount of lavender hair and beauty hair and bully who mocks every rib exercise. But there's something strange about these words. Inhuman faces are peering between the trees. Visions of people who shouldn't be there flashing in the leaves. And when the campers wake up to find the council's missing, therapy becomes the least of their problems. Stranded and left to fend for themselves, the teens quickly realize they will have to trust each other if they want to survive. But what lies in the woods may not be as dangerous as what the campers are hiding from each other. And if the monsters are half their way, no one will leave the woods alive. Comes out December 10th. My next book is The Party by Natasha Princeton. Are you invited? In the heart of the English countryside, a group of teenagers gather at the remote castle for a weekend. And the remote castle for a weekend of fun and games, but when the first of them dies, the party takes a deadly turn. As the body count rises, the remaining guests must race against time to uncover the killer's identity before they become the next victim. 
set against a backdrop of a sprawling English estate, and it comes out on December 3rd. My next one, so this is like a 3.5 novella, I'm assuming. I've actually never read this, so that looks interesting. So this is Schemes and Scandals, A Limp Through Time 3.5 by Kelly Armstrong and Maurizio Manistini, who is the illustrator. It's Mallory's Atkins son's first Christmas in Scotland, Victorian Scotland that is. Also, as a 21st century detective learns, Christmas really is a thing in Victorian Scotland. It's all about how many, while her bar's doctor Duncan Gray treats her to an early gift of tickets to the event of the season at Charles Dickens reading. There, they bump into Lady Ingalls, the lovely widow who has set three sexy letters trying to entice him back to her bed. Lady Ingalls introduces Mallory to Dickens, the meaning of her lifetime, but in return she wants their help. She being blackmailed, summons the whole letter she wrote to another lover and is threatening to publish them. Mallory isn't sure what to make of Lady Ingalls, but no woman deserves that, so she insists in taking the case with or without Grace's help. Growing tension between the between them, soon tells Mallory that Gray is hiding a secret of his own. She has until hung many to uncover the black mailer and hopefully to put things right with Gray so they can enjoy the holiday together. Comes up on December 3rd. So I don't know if I'm gonna read this. I believe I read the second book, which kind of sucked. <laughs> I don't know, it was like more like a filler than anything else. So I really hated Eliza. At least, I don't know how you say her name, I'm sorry. But she was so annoying, like holy crap. <laughs> My next book is All This, All This Twist of Glory by Danny Murphy. It is the long last year to the gym throne, that Liz has finally found her people, and she might have found her crown. Cyrus, the mysterious ruler of Tulan, has offered her his kingdom in a twist of exchange, one that would begin with the marriage and end with his murder. Simon's dark reputation precedes him, and all the world knows of his blood soaked past. Killing him should be easy, and accepting his offer might be the only way to fulfill her destiny and save her people. But the more Elizabeth learns of him, the more she questions whether the terrible stories about him are true. Ensnared by secrets, Cyrus has ached for Elizabeth since she first appeared in his dreams many months ago. Now that he knows those visions were planted by the devil, he can hardly bear to look at her, much less endure her company, but despite their best efforts to despise each other, Elizabeth and Cyrus have drawn in together over and over with an all-consuming thirst that threatens to, to destroy them both. My next book is actually the sequel of The Hurricane Wars. It is A Moon Sun Rising by Thea Goes On. After a lifetime of war, Alec and Talizan were thrust into alliance between the homelands that were supposed to end the fighting. However, being married to this one foe feels far from peaceful. Now Talizan must play the part of Alec's ruling empress while her allies secretly plot to overthrow his reign. But the longer the couple are forced to together, the harder it becomes to deny the feelings crackling like lightning between them. When the come when the time comes to act, can she trust him or she must she ignore her heart for the sake of so many others? As the master of the Shadow Forge Legion, Alec has trained for battle all his life, but marrying a light weaver might be his most dangerous challenge yet. With tensions between nations churning, he needs to focus on a greater threat, the moonless dark, a cannibalism and magical invent that could devour everything. Only he and Talison can stop it with the powerful merging of light and shadow that they alone can create together. But saving the world from this disaster is a more preface to his father's more sinister schemes. And his wife is a burning flame in the darkness, tempting both his loyalties and desires. Comes out on the 17th. And my last book is The Peculum Garden of Harriet Hunt by Chelsea Emerson. Since her father's disappearance, Harriet Hunt has been completely alone. Her only company is the garden she cares for meticulously. A wild place full of twisting ivy, thorny roses, and more magic and miracles than bees buzzing. But being alone as a woman in the world means she is vulnerable, and when, she, and when suspicion of her father disappears falls on her, she marries to protect herself. But her new husband might be worse than her father, and she soon realizes she is entangled to a dark plot created by the men around her. To free herself and discover the truth, she must learn to channel the power of a strange, magical garden. It kind of reminds me of the secret garden for some reason. It comes out on December 3rd. 
And those are all the books that will be coming out in December. There will be more as the time comes. But I think it's just too early right now. It's, it's November 5th right now, so it might just be too early because it is really little. <laughs> Um, but um, yeah, so let me know when you're excited for this summer and please like, comment, subscribe so you will know if I never time post and I will see you in my next one. Bye!